hello everyone welcome to my other video in this video i'm going to show you how to implement facebook authentication using react so let's get started so here uh, we are going to use a library that is react facebook login so uh, but before starting make sure that you have already created one react project here I have already created one react project using npx create react app now oh, what I have to do I have to install that uh, react facebook login so for that I have to write npm space install space uh, react dash facebook dash login and it will take some time to install all the dependencies of this module or you can say this library so here you can see that my installation of this react facebook login third party library has been completed now i'm opening my text editor where i'm going to implement my full authentication and here uh, inside the project first open this app.js file and here you can see one functional component that is app at first i'm going to clear all this and then I to convert in it into one stateful component or classful component so inside classful component uh, at first I need to uh, call one uh, component that is predefined inside their website that is Facebook login so just copy that and paste it right here so just see that they have used facebook login so i have to import it so write face import uh just copy this facebook login component from react facebook login that's it now the thing is they have given one app id it won't work actually okay so what you need to do you need to create this app id so for this you need to go inside your browser and open this uh, url i will give this url inside my description section and then you can find one link that is login you need to click on that so if you click on login it will ask for your username or password and if you are already signed in inside facebook it won't ask then you have to just click on this get started icon or get started link actually so just click on that and here you can see it will ask some questions create a facebook for developer account click on next and here you need to enter your uh, mobile number okay so after verification completes uh, it will ask for which of the following best describes you so you you can select as developer or you can select as student so i'm just simply uh, selecting as student then uh, click on create first app so uh, it will ask for display name here i'm giving the display name as a v d o j o and click on create app id and then it will ask for one recapture you need to verify that so just quickly uh, complete the recapture and then click on submit okay you can get that uh, one options for facebook login so you need to just click on the setup button and then it will ask uh, in which you are going to implement facebook authentication so as i am using react i need to select this web icon then it will ask for the site url so here you need to give this localhost port 3000 because at development purpose you are going to uh, run your react on localhost port 3000 so click on save and finally click on this continue button and then go inside this dashboard section so here you can get one app id so this is the main thing okay so you need to just copy it then go back to your uh, code editor 
and just paste it or replace it using your current app id so just see that uh, i don't need this on click method just right now see that uh, it is accepting one callback method right so for this uh, they are calling this uh, method so i have to just define that so here i am defining this callback method and calling this one this dot response and this callback uh, method uh, will keep one response so i'm just uh, logging this response so write console dot log and print this response okay now um, i am just uh, running my server using npm start all right so here you can see that uh, the react server is running on local host for 3000 so now i'm going to open this uh, inside my browser so once you open this uh, local host for 3000 you will get one button that is logging with facebook so before clicking on this button i'm just opening my developers tools and then going inside uh, this console and you don't need to worry about these errors actually you can solve this by your own and it will simply asking for some cost policy so i'm just clicking on this login with facebook button okay so uh, as i have already signed in in facebook here it is showing me all the details you can see it is showing me all the details that the name email that i have all the pictures and everything that you need to integrate with your react application so for further implementation of this authentication what you can do you can simply uh, store uh, uh, once these callbacks returns one uh, access tokens okay so now uh, further to implement that uh, uh, authentication system is that is after logging it to redirect to your home component uh, what you have to do you to first uh, write here constructor and inside constructor just receive the props and then call the super here will be props and then just call the state and here just define one state that is uh, is logged in and make it as false and then what you have to do uh, inside this return just write this dot state dot is logged in and check if it is true or not if it is true then simply render home and if it is not true then simply render this div okay so now to implement this one you have to change also the state to make it true right so what to handle this you have to handle inside this response facebook method so you are getting response inside this response facebook method right so you need to change or update the state from here so write this dot set state and make this is logged in to true so that's it now if you if you just uh, check if uh, it is working or not click on this login with facebook icon and you can see that it is giving the result perfect results so it is uh, showing you home right so it is working and uh, as i said you can ignore these errors it is showing some cost policy errors so that's it for today i hope uh, this works on your react project so see you in the next one thank you